So just over a year ago uh, was the day of our first rescue and the opening of our orphanage. And I remember that day. We knew that we needed to be prepared to open soon. We just didn't know when that day would come. So that morning we had a team in and that team was going to be doing a medical clinic for the community of Maya. So over a hundred people were lined up ready to be seen that day. Pastor Nathan showed up at the orphanage and pulled me aside and said that uh, he needed to show me something, that he found some kids in the village of Pazran that needed to be rescued. And so we loaded up in the vehicles, my wife and my daughter. We took about a 45 minute drive uh, and walked into this village. He immediately took us uh, to one of the mud huts that some of the children were in. I remember walking up to the mud hut not having a clue what I was about to see. And I look inside and I see these four children and the fifth was running around. She was a little bit older and she, it was obvious that she was probably taking care of them. I just remember looking in there going, why? Just the anger, the, I was sad, I was mad, I was, I was glad that we were there and that we potentially could rescue them. But just the emotions that were, that were rising up and, and for a minute I, I almost could feel maybe a glimpse of what God feels when He looks around the entire world and there are those situations and I think, man, you know, God, please send someone to rescue those children. I look around for Pastor Nathan and he was over by a tree just crying because of the situation. So I asked him if these children needed to be rescued and he said yes. Little did we know that the day we rescued those five children, that would be the day that we opened the gates of Maya and that would become the home for those children and we still have room for more and now their six basic needs are being provided for every single day uh, thanks to our faithful partners and those who come and serve and love them and go back and sponsor this orphanage. You know, even this October, uh, we open the, the doors to our new school and over a hundred children are being educated now every single day. Uh, not just our orphans, but also uh, children from the village and the surrounding villages of Maya. When I think of these five children that were rescued uh, from the despair that I saw them in that day, and now when I look at them, when I go visit and I look at them, and I look into their eyes, I, I don't see that same look. I don't see death, I see life. I see children that are daring to dream because now they know that there's a future for them. I think one of the things that just fuels me to do what I'm doing and fuels our Core Love team to do what we get to do is that when I look at these kids and I, and I reflect back on that day and I think about what their dreams might have been, nothing comes to mind except maybe just to eat that day or to have some clean drinking water or maybe just to be loved on. And even that they didn't get. But now uh, when we ask them what their dreams are, they have answers. They're starting to dream now for the first time. Whether it's to be a lawyer or a doctor or a nurse or a school teacher or a pastor or a missionary or a worship leader. That is what I'm excited about. That is what fuels us to keep going because now these kids have a dream. When you grow up, what do you want to do, Inada? <laughs> Oh, yeah.